Hey, I was going to broadcast it's it on Snap. Episode 51, Storm the Base. They oh. can't get us all. <laughs> you know what the best fucking thing about that shit is? It's like a, a great determination of how old somebody is when you see somebody talk about it in the news. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's like gotten so huge that it's like literally on the local radio station. It's on 1029. Yeah. And you hear fucking uh, Mitch. I saw a picture of him. I was like, that's Mitch. <laughs> Is that the bald one? I think so. Yeah. It's like, you know, uh, uh, that guy's fucking opinions are just like, it's like, dude, you are old. <laughs> <laughs> you are old. Man. You're slightly detached from reality. They were talking about how Thor couldn't be a woman uh, yesterday, I think. It's already canon for the comics. Is it? Yeah, it's been canon. That's what they did bring that up. They were like, there's probably some dweeb out there, you know, cringing at us because I don't know my fucking comic yeah, you book fucking canon. dweeb. Cringing at us. Natalie Portman's going to be... Which is just oh, bizarre because yeah, they, like, Thor. kicked her off. I know. Or she had some fallout with the director. I, did she? Yeah, there's yeah, been she was in the first him, so. one. She was well, in the first one. The first one. two weren't directed by Taika Waititi. Yeah, but the very first the one, one she was in, and then mm. they had some. She was in two. She was in two of them. She was oh, she was in the second yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't see all of them. So. Should bring that mic down a little bit because it's blocking your beautiful face. The sheen. You know what I'm loving head. about the, all that Area 51 stuff? That what? We, if we can go back to that, is like. No, like put the mic up and the joint down if you can. Is the uh, some of the images of like the the military briefings about it? Oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's just real like I just or not. sat through. <laughs> I just sat sat through a briefing oh, because of you yeah. assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the military is getting. Uh, oh. That soundbite's not working. This is a soundbite of... Zucked off. Yeah, there we go. Because <laughs> you saw the one where the... It was like the Air Force commander had like a... Oh, yeah, a, a fucking a slideshow of what Naruto run Yeah, and then he was like imitating it in the second picture yep. of it. Just like, oh, Lord. I wonder if anybody's actually going to show up for that shit, dude. I bet they do. I mean, if someone was like, hey, jump in my car, let's go to Area 51, I'd be it's like, this, right, It's the it. ones that haven't been weeded out by having their cell phones exploded by being told they can be recharged in the microwave and <laughs> just people like that. <laughs> Dude, was that you that sent me the link to that? <laughs> that kid that microwaved his mom's laptop? No, I think that was Corey, probably. <laughs> Corey was on that kick for a little bit. He was like, this guy just tried to recharge his phone in the microwave. In case you didn't figure it out. Steven Sackmaster is our guest this week. Yay, we can't hey. play him on. We can't play any fun music anymore because of YouTube. Can't say fuck anymore either, apparently. What? We can't? You can, but you have zero chance of getting monetized then. Oh. But I don't care. Well, F. Oh, we did it for the money. <laughs> What's the point anymore? <laughs> What's the point? What is the point? Dude, you're fucking drinking some gamer juice over there. What is that shit? I don't know. I saw it at the grocery store, and I saw two flavors. One was sour apple, and the other one was blue raspberry. Mm, got the and sour I was like, apple. Mm. 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 you know what it is, though? An kidney, energy drink. It literally says, can. this will kill you. <laughs> 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 it literally says that. Um, there's a guy at work who, whenever he drinks energy drinks, he gets kidney stones. Like, almost immediately. Nice. That's disturbing. Yeah. And he still drinks them, probably. Yeah. No, uh, well, <laughs> there is a guy who just drinks them. These make me piss problem. blood and... <laughs> kidney stones. I was stones. last night doing Jager bombs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woke up in the morning pissing kidney stones. Pissing Because there's a couple... Stones. There was a couple yeah. guys when I was at uh, the job I left who were overweight and, like, in poor health. And, you know, at lunch they're eating... Uh, a family sized bag of Doritos, Twizzlers, and a Mountain Dew, and then they're just like, I don't feel so good. And it's like, maybe because you're an idiot. <laughs> maybe it's because your blood sugar is just. That sounds familiar. Spiking. Yeah. You spiked like a volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. But uh, consensus on this energy drink, it definitely does taste like sour apple. It smells like it, too. Yeah. And to me, sour apple is one of the worst artificial flavors in the fucking world. Dude, for me, it's grape and raspberry. Those I don't are mind the two grape. I like sour apple artificial flavors. I love artificial watermelon flavor. I don't like the watermelon flavor. I love it. Get yourself a limerita. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, brother. Uh, I, w I was more referring to Old Stone Cold, that fucking thing where it's like after your seventh oh, yeah. limerita <laughs> apple piece. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Steve-O put a picture of himself, his new look, his new chops. He's shaved himself, well, you know, and this like lady a, called, said he looked like a serial killer. <laughs> The comment on, on my Facebook picture, <laughs> like and a, I was just like, you, you know, look I like a murderer. Take, I was like, I commented back. I'm like, I try to take one nice picture. Straight up, like, this is what happens. What are you like in a bathroom with like poor lighting or what's going on? I haven't no, seen it. No, it was like fair lighting, <laughs> clean shaved glass. I think it's the glasses. It's the well, smile and the glasses, the cold dead <laughs> eyes, and the glasses. The cold dead eyes. Yep. Fair it, enough. Uh, no life in these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, you're like some sort of fucking Poughkeepsie tapes killer. And what what is this? What is this on? I've never been caught. This is on Facebook. Some man. social media. Should I bring it up? Some shenanigans. I mean, no, that's all right. You're gonna need to be doxing just people a bunch out of, here. Just a bunch of gift comments and stuff mm -hmm. after that, you know. Mm -hmm. That's all Facebook's devolved into is just like you can't post links to other sites, and it's just like all Facebook videos now. You know, and then when there's articles, I only go for the comments. <laughs> you guys going for some like Ken M shit or like a fucking Vice article where oh, it's yeah. like that is the juiciest dude the Vice articles. There was like some skit where they were like pick a minority group, pick a drug, and pick a country, and it was like he was just like throwing fucking like a suction cup dildo at the wall. <laughs> oh for yeah, each I one saw that's it. being picked in that <laughs> random. So it ended up being, up being like. The fucking transgender ecstasy queens of Portugal, <laughs> something like that. And it turns out that that's an actual article by mm. them. <laughs> I'm out of the loop. My Vice Facebook. is Vice is like real hit or miss with me, man. Like yeah. there's like their editorial shit is garbage, but like some of their more gritty, like reporting is pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Apparently, Bill Maher. Um, produces the HBO show. Really? Yeah. Doesn't surprise Vice with me. Bill Maher. <laughs> I heard um, somebody <laughs> in something I was watching. Somebody explained Bill Maher, where they were talking about like how a comedian, their goal should be to be a comedian and be funny. Right. But um, Bill Maher, his goal is uh, even though he is a comedian. It's obvious his goal is to be view viewed as an intellectual. He right. wants to be viewed as like somebody who's smart. Well, and yeah, didn't he do that like religious? Yeah. yeah. Which was actually funny. Yeah. I actually thought that was a hilarious movie. But even though I think it. fucking Bill Maher is a to he's like the he's like the Rush Limbaugh for Democrats, dude. <laughs> he really is. That's that's kind of true. <laughs> it is. I mean, some of like some of the. Stuff I haven't listened to him though. forever. I just remember him making some statements. And I'm just like, get out of here. Yeah. I find good humor <laughs> in his stuff, you know. Yeah, there is good humor in it. I haven't, I haven't heard him way, for but... probably like three years. I haven't heard like much anything about him. He's kind of been coming back into, like a little. I've been seeing little bits and pieces of him, like, you know, being more relevant and stuff. Has he ever stopped being relevant? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> Speaking Do you of, guys uh, like me yet? <laughs> speaking of trying to be back do you in think the, I'm an intellectual? <laughs> speaking of trying to be back in the limelight, uh, what do you guys think of that new Tom Cruise Top Gun 2.0? I actually Maverick. think it looks pretty cool. I haven't seen anything about it, but I've seen memes. That's the only thing I've seen. I think it looks pretty cool because Tom Cruise just, even like in the first one, he got the fly. But ever since, he's just been super gung-ho about doing stuff practically where they would usually just do CG. Right. Like, in one of the Mission Impossible movies, they literally made their set on that French vomit comet fucking airplane that does the uh, the ballistic path or whatever. Oh, like the zero yeah. gravity shit? Yeah, it's called the vomit comet, yeah. and you fucking just, like, dive, and then you're in zero gravity, and they fucking filmed an entire action sequence in yeah. actual zero G. Was it the mummy where he was hanging outside the plane? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was the mummy. Because they had the did sarcophagus. It wasn't a fucking yeah. uh, Wait, in Mission Impossible. Was that the was that the mummy where he was hanging outside of the plane? Or was that Mission Impossible? I was asking you guys. And then they made the entire meme thing of Tom Cruise hanging off of stuff. <laughs> it was like Tom Cruise oh, hanging shit. off the ledge with Darth Maul falling down the <laughs> shaft. Tom Cruise. You know, he actually did that stunt, though. Yeah. Like, they strapped him to the plane for that. That was mummy. a Mission Impossible one, though. Yeah, that was. Yeah. 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 Fuck. It that. was. Yeah. Was the the zero G was in the mummy though because they're sarcophagus. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, it was like that shit looks dangerous. 
It's hard because yeah. Tom Cruise just is Tom Cruise when he's in films for me. He's not even the character. Right. It's just, just I'm not. Tom, a big oh, that's Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is gonna do what Tom Cruise do. I don't yeah. like his face. <laughs> he got just, he's one of those actors. You've been man. marked by the Church of Scientology. Church of Scientology would like to know your location. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know, man. Something about him. I That's don't like the him. shit that creeps me out. Is all that Scientology yeah. shit with him? Like seeing him in like a fucking four-star general's outfit at some of those fucking Scientology <laughs> fucking ceremonies. That shit is creepy. Yeah. And and they're just like so embedded in certain layers of things that. They don't really suffer a lot of repercussions. I don't even see how. Like, <laughs> it's so far fetched. Like, I know. How does it penetrate? You, you must cleanse yourself of Thetans, Stephen. Of these like One Hollywood elite people who are like, yeah, I totally believe that. Like, <laughs> what? Like Gwyneth Paltrow, I could understand, but Tom Cruise, yeah. John Travolta, didn't John right. Travolta kind of like distance himself from it? I don't know. He did do Battlefield earth which we talked about <laughs> oh, was, yeah. you weren't aware that I was a scientology was not I, wasn't aware. Either. I used to love that movie when i was a kid dude it's based on a uh, ron hubbard book it oh, is a ron hubbard, hubbard, hubbard ron book hubbard. Yeah. i thought it was shit then great then shit yeah. again <laughs> i revisited it recently after you guys were talking about it i was like i should watch that movie again i used to like it when i was a kid and i was like what the fuck? <laughs> like, <Yeah>. Nope. <laughs> what the fuck kind of dumb fuck pills was i on when i was a kid Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, put that tag down there. Dumb fuck pills. <laughs> okay. As he does it. <laughs> As you were. Mm. But, uh, yeah, like, nothing really happens to them as a group, though. Last I heard that one of those, one of the, uh, like, slaves they have on those cruise ships escaped and was trying to sue him. Oh, the one that, that was fucking, like, quarantined for the for measles outbreak? or whatever. <laughs> What, what, 12 years no there was a girl that was like indentured on one of those basically and escaped and she was trying to Whoa. sue them and i i never heard what ended up happening with that well, probably have like a device that like supposed to read you <laughs> and it's like you're full of these bad things you have to keep working until you, these bad things are out of you or something they've like got that. like fucking prison camps too yeah shit is insane but it's I don't, how do they get away with it just because people are quote-unquote willing yeah Mm. It's consensual. You can't force the willing. It's consensual slavery. <laughs> it's a cult. <laughs> yeah, that shit's just fucking insane. You ever see their like building, like their headquarters? I have, but I can't. Only in think South of Park. It. <laughs> step in, <laughs> step in, get a picture of Scientology headquarters. Stat. <laughs> hack, hack the Scientology stack headquarters. Stat. I think we're saying Scientology too much. We're still in our. <laughs> we're, we're still in our get. gorilla radio bomb shelter. <laughs> still need to fix this place up. Look this one, that, right? Look at that. The blue building. Yeah, it's it crazy. Part of uh, like, fucking yeah. I only, I've, only, <laughs> I've only seen this in South Park. <laughs> Is that the fucking hospital in uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas? <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> Scientology! Like, who needs a sign that big? Like, just put a cross. I mean, this use. is clearly in what? Vegas or some shit? No, that's in like Salt Lake Hollywood. City. Hollywood? Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is the Mormon Steve. I think that's in Salt Lake City. Really? Hmm. Oh no, it's in California. Nope. My bad. I'm getting my documentaries mixed up. (laughs) It's all those reoccurring themes. Yep. Mormonism, Scientology. It's all bullshit. I was watching this one about like the Mormon heroin dealers of Salt Lake City, and they're like priests. Yeah. On Vice, <laughs> the Mormon heroin dealers of Salt Lake City. <laughs> it's a total Vice headline. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> no, but yeah, like there's this dude in like a back office of a church. He's like the priest, and he like opens his Bible and it's like cut out pages and he just has heroin inside of it. <laughs> he has like a ski mask on and shit, and he's talking about selling fucking heroin. That sounds like a Vice article tonight at nine. The heroin dealers of Salt Lake City. Mormon priest. The Mormon priest heroin dealers of Salt Lake City. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell Mormon? I think I butchered that. Moron. M O R O N. M O R M O L. I'm missing an O. B A R D. Mormon priest heroin dealers of Salt Lake City. Vice tonight. I, dude, I had. Just like uh, some of the other shit I have on my YouTube thing, 
like the John Oliver one, you're like, oh, you watched all of these. It's like I fell asleep on one and then it played <laughs> they just kept all playing, yeah. night. Yep. And now YouTube thinks I love that shit. <laughs> it's time to just make a whole new YouTube account. They, uh, well, it's not still that. It changes rapidly. But right now what it does is it fucking, it'll, I'll be watching something and then I'll nod off. And then it always ends up on some sort of time and space fucking documentary live stream where it just keeps playing and it's just so they can keep the watch hours up because they know you've drifted off to Betty Bye Land. Are you still watching? <laughs> that doesn't happen on YouTube. Yeah, it doesn't happen on you because they don't Dude. care if you're fucking watching it or not as long as the screen's as up. Going, they can yeah. play their ads and they can charge their fucking sponsors. Who fucking uh, HBO was like, I have HBO now. I just got it and I fell asleep watching back. it and then all of a sudden I'm in the fourth season of Eastbound and Down. Like, when I just started this, the show, <laughs> I wake up like, holy shit, I thought it would stop playing. Yeah, for Did those you wake series, up on the, I don't on the do motorcycle that. gang episode? Because that no, one's I loud. Wish. <laughs> <laughs> I probably did, you know? Yeah, it's pretty loud. You just rattled out of bed. <laughs> I try to switch over to YouTube if I know I'm going to fall asleep because I don't want to fucking, like, have to dig through the right. episode to find where the fuck I was. Where did I stop? Yeah, uh, <laughs> a season and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> you slept through it, kid. Too late. Mm-hmm. I mean that shit makes no sense to fucking keep playing. They should ask you, are you still there? Because it's not like they're getting shit from advertisement. The thing I hate about the Hobo Go is Hobo um, Go. <laughs> yeah, it's Sean's joke. Nice. Uh, rest in peace. Um, <laughs> Rip. Fucking. Uh, the thing I hate about that is they pull a fucking Disney Channel thing on you, where it's like a premium channel. And all they do is play advertisements for their own shit. That's yeah. what they do on Amazon too. Fucking it's fucking hate dumb. That shit. Uh, at least on certain programs for Amazon. Didn't It'll Amazon be like, why just... are you advertising your own crap? Like you're advertising something I already bought. I have Amazon Prime already. I don't need to see an ad. Didn't for they just it. catch some heat for well, like? Well, I could understand advertising a show. But they do these fucking, this is a revolution. And it's a fucking montage of a bunch of shows. And they don't even tell you what the fucking <laughs> shows are. And it's like, wow. Amazon Prime will lame. have a, a show advertisement sometimes. But then they had Prime Day sales ads with JoJo Siwa. Saw what the fuck that thing was for the first time. That thing's horrifying. With what? What? JoJo Siwa. It's like a. It's like the <laughs> new. JoJo Siwa's? Is that what Siwa. you Siwa. It's like. The new Hannah Montana. What the fuck is Jojo that Siwa? I'll bring it up in a second here. It, it oh was a horrifying God. ad. But uh, <laughs> otherwise they have, Amazon has like an info, uh, like a selling channel that they advertise to where it'll be, they'll be selling crap from Amazon. with Like, like a, a QVC? Yeah. And it's just like, why do you have this? Why are you advertising <laughs> me this? Some people like to watch that shit. Maybe for the elderly. The, I still... saw this. This is a JoJo Siwa. That doesn't look wait, like Hannah wait, Montana, wait. bro. It's like a Claire's. What in the it's like a fuck walking is Claire's that bikini billboard. Yeah. thing? Third picture in? What the that is, fuck? <laughs> is the, that her what? face? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, but this, this is like Nazi right. honey boo boo. <laughs> it's, no, it's like a like Stefan said, a walking Claire's fucking dude advertising. Yeah, straight up, it's man. Weird. This is like some fucking six Reich shit. Oh six. god, did we go through this two is, other Reichs? This is what we've been. <laughs> no, that, that's a that's we're a, in one right now. No, I'm just that's a reference to Fear and Loathing yeah. when they're in the fucking circus thing. He's like, this is what we'd be doing every night if the Nazis won the war. This is the <laughs> six Reich. But this seriously is some six Reich shit, man. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about it. But she, she comes on an ad for Amazon. Well, she was on an ad for Amazon Prime Day sales, and it was just her yelling at, at you. But just to like, you, at, for the ad, it was her yelling. Yeah, but you were the one watching it. Yeah, but it was on fucking. How did, how did it was on like, like my Eastbound and Down or whatever the fuck else I was. That's watching. That's what I was getting at. It was like wrong demographic. You know oh, exactly totally who wrong. he is. Right. You know what he likes. You know what he buys. JoJo Siwa commercial. Right. How did yeah. like an algorithm and like your history bring this that up? Maybe they're just not yeah. there yet. It's the difference between Google and Amazon. They don't quite know you, but they do. <laughs> they're trying to understand you. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying. Amazon. What is Amazon? Human? We're doing our best. <laughs> that's We're I trying. That's why I don't have Alexa in my house. Yeah, fuck you, Alexa. 
<laughs> Alexa, play JoJo Siwa. <laughs> <laughs> Starts fucking playing Erica. I'm gonna get fucking flagged by YouTube for that. But <laughs> uh, were you humming the Nazi national anthem? <laughs> no. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, we ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna go there. We already did. <laughs> no, that, I was gonna mention that one video I sent you. <laughs> where the fucking lady's doing her makeup and then there's fucking like it's an earthquake or some shit and it just switches there's like it's like there's nazis upstairs and they're all like on their chairs <laughs> skipping around a table and she's like tsun, tsun, tsun. Dude, like the real video is a chick doing her makeup and an earthquake hits but it's mashed with that yeah. i got you yeah i've seen other ones of that like a dude had a, a horse in an apartment and he's like dancing with the horse and she's just <laughs> so good. oh that was like a that was like a format for a while <laughs> yeah i never saw that i never saw anything other than that one that was like referring to um hell let loose that new world war ii game and they were just referring to what it's like to play any match because apparently everybody just goes to the germans and steamrolls everybody <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't know what what that game is get the panzers it's like a it's like more of a war sim than a fps yeah, get the tanks, dude. It's all about the Panzer, dude. Yeah. That shit like fueled Blitzkrieg. No. Methamphetamine fuel, fueled True. the Blitzkrieg. True. <laughs> Blitzkrieg. And, True. Uh, <laughs> and, and really good airstrikes. I mean, but the, the speed of the Panzers definitely played a part. Krikdaplik. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to go out for some Krikdaplik afterwards? This show go. brought to you by Quick the Fleek. <laughs> yeah, we'd like to thank our first sponsor, Quick the Fleek. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Quick the Fleek is, I mean, Quick the Fleek is Pizza Hut. In Klingon. <laughs> is it actually Klingon? I have no idea. I thought it was just, just German. It's just, oh, I thought that was the ad you <laughs> What's said? the difference? <laughs> uh, yeah. They're both very and very vocal, very guttural, very phlegmy, guttural, very angry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's finally starting to cool off in here. Yeah, which is surprising. Stefan, three explain bodies. yourself with this fucking porno shirt you got there. It's just light, dude. I'm digging it, man. <laughs> it's just light, man. For real, man, you look like a you you got a gigolo doing appointment some, afterwards. Some, you look man. like you're gonna like do a dance in the sunset on Miami Beach. Yeah. You, you look like uh albino giraffe. Because <laughs> you're so tall. You just we'll so... call you snow leopard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm on the prowl, dude. <laughs> He's got a date with an old black lady, I'm just gonna call you I definitely snow need leopard. a I definitely need like a gold <laughs> chain or something though. To complete this look, uh, you gotta get the chest hair going too. Unity ring, unity. <laughs> Some gold rings. Get a pinky ring. I don't think chest hair is ever gonna happen to me. Get yourself fucking shit. Yeah, hair I feel like anyway. it would have happened by now. Just like shave. Just take some pubes and use some fucking glue them uh, on there. Was a miracle putty that they used for Halloween stuff? Something like that. Just super glue it. Just use some wood glue Just forever. <laughs> Forever glue. <laughs> Just super glue it on These there. These are mine, I swear. <laughs> Other stuff starts sticking to the glue. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how is your new employment going? Yeah, Stefan, tell us. You mean unemployment? It's great. You mean, what you, uh, you're now working at the puppy dog store? Oh, yeah, I'm working at the puppy dog store. Puppy dog store. Wait, so you're like working with count. puppy dogs? This is like puppy dog store. Yeah, we're at a dog store on Brady right now, and it's awesome. I got some great clients. Well, fuck, I got some man. great clients. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come in there. Bring your dog. I don't have a dog anymore. It's too bad. Bring the puppy. You know, someone took him. Been but uh, I love it. I walk off love screen it. and cry. Spent oh that stick I got at Goodwill for twelve ninety nine that shit broke. What stick? I got a, a Easton hockey stick at Goodwill oh, yeah, for like twelve that, bucks yeah. and I broke it already. Oh yeah, it's broken. Yeah, it was wasn't I saying that? Yeah, wasn't I talking shit? I was like, you should have broken that shit. By yeah, now. it broke the second time I used it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, at work, I had something kind of funny. Uh, somebody, somebody sent out a email to everybody that they probably shouldn't have. Was it a PP picture? <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing like that. Was it an inappropriate like uh, let's get let's go after work for drinks? No. Payday drinks. No, I don't think was this it talking about somebody. Like anything it would do something like that. Was it talking about somebody else in the office? It was talking about several people, but it was just like. Why would you do this to all people? Like, this is just ridiculous. So here it is. Okay. I am pulling the current puzzle that is in the lunchroom and discontinuing the activity. <laughs> There's been too many complaints. I've heard complaints that it takes up too much room at the table. Why does the puzzle have to be in here? The person who puts the puzzle out doesn't even eat in the lunchroom. Another employee put the edges together. <laughs> I didn't get to work on the part of the puzzle I wanted to. The puzzles are being completed too quickly. A certain employee doesn't get his or her work done because they're always working on the puzzle. And the list goes on and on. I thought that it might be a fun activity, but I was wrong. <laughs> this is a fucking... This is a fully grown adult we're talking about here. Hey, just because you're fully grown doesn't mean you can be pet, can't be petty about. I know, I, I say, know. Those petty levels are crazy. The man. whole thing surround not just like the that email going out, but those complaints too. Oh yeah, all of those complaints are a like different employee completed the edges. <laughs> I didn't get to work on the part I wanted to. Oh, I didn't get to put the part of the kitty puzzle together with the main coon on it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, god is, damn. Like, I'm the, person that, the person that totally sent that to everybody, like, was bringing the puzzles in, just, like, yep. just wanted people to enjoy it. And, yeah. yeah, and just not I totally have any complaints that. and just... That's why they sent it to everyone, and they were like, fuck all of you. <laughs> like, some low-key, just like, no totally behind it. Ever. <laughs> yeah. You know what sucks is, like, I'm just trying to build some team, some teamwork here. I'm trying to, like, break into, like, the 9 to 5 Monday to Friday life, and this is what I get to look forward <laughs> yeah. to. Yeah. So, are they, like, framing the puzzles they complete? No. Oh, that would be great, too. No. But, yeah, I would walk through the lunchroom occasionally and be like... Why are you guys working on this fucking puzzle? Like, the fuck kind of puzzle are you guys working on? <laughs> <laughs> I do like someone's not doing their work because they're always working on the puzzle. <laughs> my favorite part, my favorite part is someone's completing the edges or whatever. That's yeah. that shit is just some straight up hate, some deep seated hate that has nothing to do with the puzzle thing. It's just this person's way into do one more bitch to somebody else yeah. about somebody else. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I'm, I'm so sick of it. I'm, I, just, I sit across from people, and I just like I know they're talking shit about somebody right now, while I'm working, and be like, "Oh, guy's talking shit again." Shit! <laughs> she I she still is. get, I still get texts about people Doug, bitching about people, got, man, to me about people <laughs> from the place I quit from. Like I'm still getting texts, just like you won't guess, you won't be able to guess what so and so is doing. Yes, I will. <laughs> Based on his the prior same behavior, I just stay out of it. His past behavior, I guarantee I can guess. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, I don't even work there anymore, and you're still complaining to me about people. Oh, one of us, Stefan. One of us. One of us, one Stefan. Of us. We want you to come back and get fried on electrical systems for submarines. <laughs> oh, I thought it was nuclear stuff. Sometimes. I mean... Subliers are, s submarines are. Sometimes it's new. nuclear submarines. energy makes electricity, Steve-o. I know. I just watched Chernobyl. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Duh. I, t I, I told you about that story where I was at the bar and that guy, like, was rubbing his nipples. What? I think. I maybe. I told, did I, I tell know. you about that? Tell, say again. To Steve-o? Okay. So I went out. I think it was after hockey game or something, but we went out and... You're about to talk about a man rubbing his nipples in yeah. that shirt. <laughs> yeah. But we, I went out, and Brittany was like, oh, yeah, I'm meeting up with some friends at the safe house for, for a birthday party. When? And How long ago? This was a couple of weeks ago. But okay. But we, like, they did some karaoke, and we went up to the front bar because we were saying goodbye to a couple people, and this guy, like, 
is definitely intoxicated. He's older. Did they do the fucking Richard Nixon out of the trap door, out of the floor no. lap dance? No. But this dude, like, stumbled over to us, and he's like, what's up, guys? You guys watch Chernobyl? You guys watch Chernobyl? And I haven't Just watched Chernobyl. Just out of Chernobyl. nowhere? Yeah. And it's that was like, his, like, leader? <laughs> Yeah, and it was like, no, neither. we don't really watch HBO or anything. He's like, oh, it's too bad. Uh, yeah, let's do some shots. And, like, he it's bought us all. Yeah, he bought us all some tequila. He was like, what do you guys want to drink? I was like, I'll do a shot of tequila. And he, like, took the shot, and then he, like, sucked the lime, and then he was just, he made, like, a... <laughs> A pleasurable, uh, he made like a pleasurable <laughs> moan, and then, uh, and then he like rubbed his nipples. <laughs> Maybe he was just really drunk. And then one of the girls like proceeded to rub his nipple too, and it was just like this is. All I'm gonna tell you right now. Too, this this is you. I'm gonna tell yeah. you right now. If you were wearing that shirt, <laughs> yeah. To be why, honest, dude. To be honest, Stefan, I thought this was gonna be way worse than you made it sound on the front end, man. I think it was worse the original time. Oh yeah, told you it. didn't. Ha- you didn't experience it. The nipple rubbing. <laughs> The nippling. I mean, the pleasurable <laughs> moan where he was like, mm. <laughs> mm, that's good bib. <laughs> but, but I, I think I already shared that one. So. <laughs> wow, dude. Oh, I don't know. I don't think you did. We haven't done a show since before July. Started. It was pretty old. It was a pretty old story, though. Yeah. You said it was a few weeks ago. He was lying. <laughs> he was lying. <clears throat> Oh, we need some new sound bites. <laughs> I mean, we, we haven't really. I need been to fucking using, get that. We haven't get, really been using the yeah, sound no, bites. Yeah, no, we've just been having too much fun. I need to get that fucking two weeks Arnold Schwarzenegger fucking sound sound bite from Total Recall and that fucking robot head, so I can call you out for saying it was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks. Ah. <laughs> mm. uh, so, Steve-O, you been up to any shenanigans? I mean, you're the... You must have many stories He's to tell behaving. me. He's been behaving. I've been taking it really easy, dude. Really easy. Just After the scare? Inside. Well, no, I had a second one. You had a second scare? Yeah. Doctor was like, if you, if you keep doing the same shit, your heart's literally going to rip open and we're not going to be able to help you. And I was like, all right, no more shenanigans. <laughs> Fucking been taking it easy. Good on Steve-O. This is the first time drinking in like a week and a half or so. That's good. He says that like it's a long time. <laughs> yeah. Is, working at a bar, that is a long time. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I guess. But they so keep what's you in your, back What's with your uglies? life now? Work and then you go home and play World of Warcraft? Yeah. How's World of Warcraft treating you? Um, Honestly, me and Steve-O had a blast oh, last dude, weekend. We, we were killing it in some battle battlegrounds. Grounds, dude. I always have a good time with battlegrounds, yeah. Steve-O. It's fucking. I didn't think I was gonna do that great because I had a you know a long break. We did really well, <clears throat> but doing like RBGs or we're what? No, filthy we're casuals and we don't do that fucking. We don't randoms. do the the pre made with. We're casuals, bro. Yeah, we like to have fun. Stefan plays to yeah, win. I did one ranked with this guy a three v three, and I was just lost the whole time. I'm like, I'm dead. Oh, and we did the arena. I'm dead. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, arenas are brutal though. <laughs> I think, well, oh, those, yeah, but they're so quick. Those yeah. Are, I mean, you could just hop back in, you know, you fail, you die, you live. You, you, I live, I die, I live again. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it was fun. F-U-N. Yeah, fun. Besides, like, other than that, man, like, wow, taking it easy. I've blocked all the floozies from my <laughs> from my Facebook feed. I have a heart. Get out of here, I'm harlots. dead serious, man. Get out of here, you harlots. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Marked <laughs> sexism. Oh Jesus! This is, this is now a Christian penis. We got you. Got to bust. <laughs> you got to bust out thought breaker. <laughs> That's is, Steve-O's hammer. Do you have Do you have more uh, soda pops over by you? Can I have this one? Mm. Cool, great, awesome. Yeah, that one's for you. Sweet. Good for you. Good for you. Sweet. <clears throat> That's yeah. good, man. It's been been pretty chill. You know, you've just been hanging out, eating Captain Crunch. Yeah. <laughs> he was making fun of me so much, dude. For what? I was eating fucking peanut butter crunch the other night, and he's just oh, like, yeah. I was like, you're fucking taste buds, man. You're a child right now. <laughs> right. That's what it's for, children. 
it was good, and it's all I had at the time. <laughs> That's my favorite thing is making big breakfasts right now. I was telling Steve earlier. I went to the, this Jackson's PBR. It's like some PBR Jackson's bar. Blue Ribbon yeah, Pub. Jackson's Blue Ribbon Pub. And let me Do tell they you, only have PBR? That shit has not, that's like probably the best. Like the one fucking microbrewery local beer that they had tasted like fucking fruit punch. Weird. Like, they're like, it's like some amber ale. And I drank it. It's like, this is like sugar drink. Do they call it Jim Jones beer? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who's Jim Jones? He's the Kool Aid guy. <laughs> oh, that's his name. <laughs> his name is Jim Jones. Yeah. Well, no, the not Kool Aid. The Kool Aid guy. guy. They got Kool-Aid people to drink guy. the. He got people to drink the Kool Aid. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we got the, the, the fucking G- Branch Davidians. Yeah. That, no, no, that was David Jim, Koresh. That was, that was Waco. Waco. Yeah. yeah. Jim, Jim he was Jones a Jones Town, right? Brew. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Jones Micro Brew. <laughs> I saw, I saw, I heard a really, or I saw a really good joke about him. It was like, who's the greatest boxer ever? Jim Jones. He knocked 800 people out with one punch. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, hey, man. Sorry. Fucking um, tragedy plus time equals comedy. True that. Yeah. And by oh, that, that's good, though. That mat- mathematical statement, uh, what is it? A uh, tragedy. Uh, I forgot what it was. It was Pat Oswalt especially. It was like uh, tragedy divided by comedy equals time. <laughs> Something like that. Something like it that. It was like a play on the, a mathematical statement. <clears throat> Didn't he just do uh, Madison? It got real quiet in here. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, I don't know if he, that's over already. Jake sent me. He uh, just did that to He was wanting me to go. Yeah, and I was the... like, I would love to go, but I don't want to go all the way to Madison. Yeah, I don't want to go to Madison. I mean, I saw him once, probably the second most expensive stand-up tickets I've ever bought. First, Seinfeld. I was going to say, probably Seinfeld. Seinfeld was so ex- but it was because of the seats. Right. I was like, I want to see Seinfeld, and I want to be seeing Seinfeld like royalty. Right, and we did. Yeah, and fucking... I'm walking up there in a hoodie and a beanie, Stefan's in a fucking beanie and a hockey jersey, and we're yeah. sitting in front of a woman in white gloves. <laughs> like, she literally had white gloves? <laughs> but yeah. it, was, it was like that type. They were, like, yeah. dressed up, and this was their nice night out. Yeah, and we people were in, in front, front of them. And, shit. <laughs> and it's just like, what up? You know, in the, in the, uh, awesome. the Riverside Theater where they have the, the booths? Yeah. Like, this is literally where they would have shot Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, we were in the we were in the side seats up there. Yeah, like if Seinfeld was bad, we could have spit on him. You know where you know where the hecklers are and uh, the, Muppets. the Muppets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right where we That's were at. Fucking awesome. You can dude. see the sweat beading on his forehead. It's great. It's excellent. It's pretty good. It's yeah. okay. Well, they, like, it you think sucks. It's... it's terrible. Boo! Do you think like that's just you know comedians they sweat so much because of the light just beaming on them the whole yeah, time? Yeah, I think that's why. Because, like, I've noticed that. Like, they'll just be up there, like... Yeah, those lights are bright, man. Just dripping. From what I've heard, certain places you can't see anybody. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that, too. Which kind of makes it easier to perform, I guess. Definitely had one of those laughers in the crowd, I remember this, where, like, everyone's like, (laughs) and it just, like, kind of has that group kind of, like, rise and fall. But you had one motherfucker who was like... That was me. (laughs) 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 Oh, man. Anytime somebody mentions the Creep creep Keeper, I I think about the hairdo I had when I was 16. Why? (laughs) Because I grew my hair long, and I washed it too much, and it turned into fucking straw. And then I fucking tried to, like, undercut it and shave the edges and it looked fine in like a ponytail but when you let it down it was like as thin as the Crypt Keeper's hair <laughs> I used to be scared shitless of that guy when I was a oh kid. me too the puppet nightmares I used to first run time I away from the yeah. TV when that first show time I out. saw it he was all scarred right. yeah I was scarred like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean I was like five right six maybe that shit scared probably the living younger shit yeah. out of me dude like Predator nah Alien a little Twister Tornado is gonna suck me out of the window, Mom. <laughs> These are real. <laughs> These are real. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess Welcome that's the most the rational of them, right? <laughs> For real. Is there gonna be a tornado? <laughs> the tornado sirens are going off. The tornado is gonna suck my daddy out of the cellar. I'm gonna be in our bed. 
The cows. The cows. <laughs> How in hell is ever gonna make another episode of Bad About You? <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> You're killing me right now, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one was way before me. Mad about you? I mean, it was like on, but it wasn't like for me. Never watched Seinfeld when it was like on on. The only actual episode of Seinfeld, two episodes I remember ever watching was uh there was like previews for one episode that was coming out where uh kramer bought the fucking shower head for the circus freaks with like this the like super high pressure shower head do you remember that the high pressure low pressure episode where they were talking about the, it was the water pressure episode yeah. yeah i remember that so he buys that shower head, but the advert for it was just like fucking um michael richards acting like a fucking goon getting killed by the shower and i was like ha, mommy daddy i want to watch that episode it looks funny <laughs> but that was like one of those things it's like when the simpsons ended and that came on it's time to turn the tv off yep. like uh i remember watching gilligan's island Ugh. and then afterwards the <laughs> hard lo- to get through <laughs> the, the, i love the i love gilligan's island as a kid it's like a shitty version of lost <laughs> <laughs> i remember fucking seeing color episodes Some might of argue that shit. the plot was better though <laughs> <laughs> dude you know i've been watching lost the first time anyway sorry who, who do who do we got there we got gilligan skipper the professor marianne the billionaire his wife and the movie star i think that's everybody I miss I just, anybody. There's a scientist Poof. that can make anything out of coconut. Yeah, the scientist yeah. and Marianne. Yeah. Uh, but I remember watching that shit and being like, it came on in black and white once. I was like, what the fuck is this? Is something wrong with my TV? It's I didn't understand that it also had episodes. What's black and white? When it was black and white. <laughs> but then after that shit, it had a show that came on. It's like, okay, this means it's time to turn the TV off. The fucking love boat. <laughs> I was like a little kid, fucking love Gilligan's Island, have no nostalgia about it, love Bo. I was like, this shit sucks. <laughs> it's like, wait, it's Gilligan's Island, then it goes to Love Boat? Hmm. <laughs> TV land, then. So what, you're watching Lost now? Yeah, for my first time. Last time I was over at your what fucking... What season are you on? Five. Dude, why would you start that? You know it ends terribly. No, I don't. I, th- I remember the first couple of seasons being pretty hooked, but dude, then it was just were... like you're not answering any goddamn yeah, dude. questions. I'm in season five now, and it's like I, I've slowed down heavily on watching it. Like I haven't watched it like the first few seasons I watched in like two oh, weeks. Man. I totally yeah. got that with Farscape once I got to season four. I was like, oh, John Crichton, I can't take no more of you. But it was just like, dude, season I've, five. I managed to get like, through uh, Farscape pretty easily. They got off the island. Now they're back on the island the fuck like they don't answer any fucking questions i know it's like one of those shows where it's just like it made a bunch of money it's like you can't end now right make us more money what network was that on was that on abc or fox (sighs) it was on one of those i think it was on abc abc's lost yeah i previously started watching that lost I started Every watching the uh, Hobbit movies. I've never seen those before. Those movies are good, man. They are pretty good. I like them. I think they're stretched out a no little done? bit. Yes. They are stretched out. It's like that fucking line in The Lord of the Rings where Bilbo's like, I feel <laughs> like too much butter spread, spread over <laughs> toast. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> like, I s- I'm even watching the extended version. I'm still like, enjoying them quite a bit. It's like a small piece of butter. I mean, if I was fun, in the theater, I'd probably be pissed. That's, That's like what Bilbo wait. Baggins does. <laughs> they, it would be way too long to be in a theater for that. But I'm at home. I can just like pause it, get up and do whatever I need to and come back and like keep watching it. It's great. I remember they asked Vigo to reprise his role as Aragorn. And he was like, no. And they're like, why? He's like, he's not because he's not in The Hobbit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? I remember that too. They added a couple characters. Really? They, they wanted to. The... Yeah. And they he wanted was that like, sweet, no. sweet money. That's how they stretch one book into three movies. You know what I've been, uh, you know what I just watched last yesterday, mm. all day, because I didn't play WoW. I watched uh, the Fantastic Beast movies. I haven't watched those. Oh, I thought that shit sucked. I've been watching a little bit of Magnum PI though. <laughs> that explains. That explains the shirt. <laughs> The Miami button-up. I mean, he's in Hawaii. 
Oh, the Hawaii Miami Vice ups. is uh, the one you're thinking about. I watched that like two years ago. I think that's Magnum P.I. That sounds like Law and Order. <laughs> that's Magnum P.I., isn't it? I couldn't tell you. You've been watching it. <laughs> I'm only like four episodes in. It fucking learn. They're the long ass episodes too. At least the first two were long. Each one was like an hour and a half. I was like, this is incredible. Yeah, that's before they started giving kids Ritalin. <laughs> People had attention spans in America. Just watch Magnum PI. I, I think somewhere in the third ward, there's some cool um, fucking what's his face, uh, Tom Selleck, um, graffiti. Somewhere around there. I bet I can find it. Me and Jake used to cut through the third ward from his old place to get to Sabbatic all the time. Yeah, I remember following you there one time. <laughs> I was like, what are we in no man's land? It's like just this big exposed area walking along the streets. Cutting down alleys and <clears throat> shit. Something like this? Uh, isn't that, isn't that Smokey and the Bandit? Dude, that's a <laughs> dude from the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Is this it? Oh. Dude, you know he's no. from, you know the guy that played no, him was from no, South no. Milwaukee? <laughs> oh really? Oh yeah, he's, he's the crusher. Very, he's right? uh, sloth? Yeah. Or he's not, not the crusher, but he was a wrestler, wasn't he? I don't know if Sloth was, but he's buried in um. South oh scroll Milwaukee down, scroll though. down. I think it's the maybe this the one, one with the heart. Nope. 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 Scroll something like that. This but is more, your hot graffiti more, job. More detail. More detail. It's Dude, something what are you simple about like that. Stephen? That's Banksy, bro. <laughs> 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 it's w- if you want to, if you want to see more Tom Selleck, watch uh, Quigley Down Under. You know, I think he's what? What's with the Nazi? Oh, something like Anyways, this. Um, I've been thinking about growing out the stash rather than the chops. just the stash. I think that would be more you. I think that would look less serial killer ish. Why is it serial killer? God damn it! <laughs> I don't know, man. Mustaches are just kind of creepy, though. I mean, yeah, but like you probably. You I almost came here today like with a, a mustache, but I shaved the rest off. You well, first off, you'd need to be able to grow a mustache. It, there's just like this blonde pat, patch here. Whenever I just try to right grow facial here. hair, it's, it's just blonde right hair, here. and it just looks like there's no hair. Right here. <laughs> right here. Uh, um, I've Doug's I'm on thinking. just a Nazi kick today. What's going on, bud? It's Pizza Hut, man. Nazis. <laughs> I, I, uh, no, you're going like right here, <laughs> right here, <laughs> just right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I connotated for you, man. Hey, I'm not the one with fucking blonde hair and blue eyes here, all right? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Yikes. He's not blonde. He's bald. It is blonde when it grows, though. Is it? Steve O's yeah, bald you by choice. Consider yourself uh, blonde. Yeah, it's like a dirty blonde. Eh, it's about the same. I don't as think mine. you would have qualified. Uh, it's about the same as mine, like dirty blondie. I mean, if you want to talk about qualifying, <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna get into that. But I mean, me and the guy have the same birthday. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Four twenty squad, roll up. <laughs> <laughs> I've seriously been considering losing the beard because I just hate it. I've had enough. I mean, why? You Fight get, facial you hair, brother. You grow a good beard. Fight just facial hair. hair. Are you fighting facial hair because you can't grow it? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you, some sort of Irish Spaniard only grows here? <laughs> here? I just get the goatee and, like, real patchy on the sides. Maybe you just got to grow it out, and then you'd look like fucking Orlando Bloom trying to grow. <laughs> it's so bad. A wispy king. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm not a big facial hair guy. Michael Sarah tries to grow a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Always Sunny has a fucking mobile game that they're pushing hard. That's um, dumb. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, would Facebook. you play it already? No, I just, it just sounds Is dumb. Is it like based off the mobile game that was in the show? I don't know. Where, like, Charlie ruled over everyone because he was better at the game than everyone? I don't know. He, like, married D and had a whole party. And, like, he met some chick from Philly. I vaguely remember that one. And Dennis, and goes, like, hated it because he sucked yeah. at it. Yeah. She goes to give him, like, a Philly cheesesteak when they first meet. She's like, this is the best <laughs> fucking Philly in Philly. And he, like, 
he takes it and he's like, well, while you've been gone, I've been pillaging your lands and raping your people. <laughs> like, <laughs> she just dumps Kool-Aid all over him. Speaking of Philly cheesesteak, my Uber driver last night who was driving me home, we were talking about like food places. The Lispy like, guy? He's like, I'm not really into drinks, but I like places that uh, good food. You know, people tell you, just like, man, you go here, you got to get this. And I'm like, all right. So I mentioned Stubbies because I've always like no matter I've never had the same thing there, except maybe like a breakfast omelet because I went like close enough to, but they're like spread out that their menu is like changed and it's always changing, and everything I've ever had there is fucking delicious, and I was like, oh, you ever hear of this place Stubbies? I was mentioning that he was like, yeah, chili feast cheesesteak. <laughs> I was like, no, dude, that's He's Chubby's. Chubby's, yeah. it's Chubby's, but Chubby's kind of sucks though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the cheesesteak, man. Do you need a beer? Oh, I love a good cheesesteak. Yeah, I good. Um, there used to be this hole in the I'm wall. Good. I got a pee too. There used to be this hole in the wall place when I worked in the hood. Best cheesesteaks, dude. Just perfect every time. Like, I'm talking this place. There was no real sign out front. You know, the, the register is completely encased in bulletproof glass. Zaza's? No. Could you buy cell it's phones gone. and tobacco there, It's too? gone. They got robbed too many okay. times and they oh. closed. He was like, I'm going to move out to Mequon. Like, I have enough money. I can move out to Mequon. But he never did. He just closed. Great cheesesteaks, though. Wah, wah. I've never really been a fan of the cheesesteak, man. I love the cheesesteak. <clears throat> I've been on a hamburger kick lately, man. Hamburger Doug. Burger God. Yep. But I've been, like, cooking them. And, uh... I was, I was telling Steve-O earlier, at the place I was at last night, I ordered... A BLT and some fucking like onion strings. And let me tell you, it was like eating a sandwich between croutons. It was like taking a fucking Brillo pad and scraping the top of your fucking mouth with it. And then the side, the onion strings, like lightly battered, thinly stripped onions. It was like, it was like a wicker basket. It was like the shit they make pure one import chairs out of oh you did them like haystacks like a onion haystack have you ever had that uh no that's not what they called it <laughs> they didn't, it would yeah it li- literally looked like some fucking tumbleweed yeah you can get like <clears throat> deep fried uh onions real thin it's called a haystack it's just like it comes out when i've had it, it comes out in a on a, one plate and it's just a stack of onion rings speaking of tumbleweeds i legit saw some tumbleweave this week i just did the other day too right I mean, it's warm enough, man. Everyone's fighting in the streets. <laughs> it's been a while. I haven't had to drive to that side of town anymore, not having to work there anymore. Oh, my God. I had a coworker who lives in Brown Deer just talking about fucking fat chicks fighting in the hood. <laughs> That's always cool to see. Like, I, I've never seen it, but apparently it's like a regular occurrence. And he was just like, man, like, there's so many fat people where I live. And there are these people fighting. And they're out there in the streets brawling. Right. Fucking Titanic like weight class and shit. Fucking <laughs> boxing. And he was like saying, uh, like a cop walked by and he said to him, he's like, aren't you going to like do something? And he's like, not this. Not to. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for that shit. <laughs> it's like, really, are they really any danger to anybody else but them too? That's I mean, crazy. That's the stuff that bugs me is you'll see some shit and you're just like, the police are right there and they should do something. And they just, meh. Yeah, but to be fair, they're kind of jaded and they have like a lot of bigger shit to worry about. I yeah, know. But like, when a guy cuts me off dangerously on the road and there's a cop right <clears> next to me. I'd... That's what I told my dad when I was like driving through my first place in Brown Deer. We were going to like a buffet or something like that. And he's like, Douglas, you're speeding. It's like, bud. You got crime out here. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> I just go 10 over every, everywhere on the highway. And fucking, I, I even play hockey with a couple cops. Oh, I have a, another story about hockey, too, with a guy I'm playing with. But uh, play with a couple cops, and, you know, they had Summerfest and all that stuff down by the pier. It was just, they had basically a meeting with the mayor, and the mayor's just like, people are smoking weed, whatever. Nobody cares. It's going to be legal soon. The only thing they're looking for is, like, possible like terrorists yeah Yeah. that's that's what worries me like dude last year i was at summerfest i was drunk with my little brother and like we're down there i'm in we're in summerfest and i'm just like this is a fucking fire hazard like if (laughs) anything broke out people would just be walking over each other oh yeah like 
Yeah. It's it, 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 so I can understand where they're coming from. Just looking for like potential like terror threats and shit. Yeah. Especially with it being like America's largest music festival. Yeah. And shit. You have like, so many bodies in there. Yeah. Yeah. America's the largest. Music. <laughs> That's so fucking funny how jaded we are. But it like literally is. I know, but like. Well, the acts fuck aren't. Summer fest. The acts like, are not that great. Well, maybe you're the jaded one. Dude. I fucking love Tin Lizzy on a Tuesday. To be okay. fair, like I know people that run. <laughs> I don't see the... Tin Lizzy. There's no fucking Thin Lizzy playing. I know some people that like I call them run Tin the Lizzy on the rocks and shit, like the Rebel stage and stuff. Like last year, it was like fifteen dollars. Oh yeah, we went and got that, and they're like, like, "Oh, you can have beer." Yeah, all yeah, you we can got drink to the, PBR. We got shit. to the we yeah, go to the Miller VIP. You get up there for free, but yeah, taken back Sunday. That the, was terrible. The best time I ever had there was when fucking Jake Pine's dad gave us like fucking some like pavilion drink tickets and tickets to see Iron Maiden. Just like split. Jake just like hits me and was like, "Hey man, you want to go see Iron Maiden?" And it was like, "Yeah, fuck yeah it was the best live Maiden. performance you ever saw." Ever, right, bud? yeah, ever. Like even if you don't like metal, go see Iron Maiden. It's a fucking puppet show. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, fucking the lead singer of Devil Wears Prada plays hockey with us now, which is what? weird. Yeah. <laughs> he, I guess he like Are moved they up from here. here? No, I guess he like moved up here and like so I do the the old men's league at Wilson on Friday and Saturday and I'm sitting on the bench. And this guy's like, you know, the lead singer Devil Wears Prada plays with us now, and I was like, uh, no, I don't even know what that guy looks like. I guess he's I never even really listened to. Yeah, that. <laughs> I know they did a big timers cover like 15 years ago. Gator boots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like 15 years ago, and apparently that's like the biggest song they've ever had. Is that was my favorite big timer song ever, by the way. But uh, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, so like they've been talking about this for like a couple of weeks, and he's like, yeah, he plays here. Everyone's like talking about it, and apparently I've been playing with this guy at the mullet on su- every Sunday. Like I didn't even know it was fucking him, hmm. but I was just like, oh, that's weird. That's like one of the. That sounds like the time I met fucking Black Dahlia Murder. You you didn't even know who they were. Yeah, like we didn't. I I went to the venue up the street from where I was living, the Orchard Inn. In the hood place. Yeah. Fucking go up there to meet my friend Stacy and smoke a marijuana blunt. And you didn't. There's just people like chilling in a trailer smoking a blunt too. And it's the, that's what you do. You share your weed. You match. And we find out it is the Black Dahlia murder. And then after we get done matching, uh, I'm just like, well, so long, you guys. See ya. And they're like, wait, what? You're not going to the show? I was like, nope, I'm going home. I got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently the girl I went with, like, just, like, chilled with them all fucking night. And, like, it's, like, one of those stories that's, like, did they run a train on you or something? <laughs> I was just <laughs> hanging out with them all night, eh? Yeah. Uh, but, no, she was, like, my my we smoked so much weed that my lips were chapped. Huh. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like uh, I, I don't know if I that's was ever tempted, happened to me. I was tempted at the time to like go home and grab a demo of the band I was in at the time and be like, oh, here's this. And were they like, even signed at that time though? Yes. What album? They were, were they like on? hot Miasma? shit at that time. Yeah. Miasma maybe or Unhallowed. Was Unhallowed. Unhallowed. Man, I remember we used to like drive out in like the boonies at night and fucking like turn the lights off. <laughs> And listen to the beginning of Unhallowed, which is... <laughs> Dude, if, okay, when I was still staying in my parents' basement, I used to smoke fucking mad... I can't smoke anymore. But anyway, I used to smoke mad weed. Under I the felt, blanket. I felt, yeah, we used to hotbox under the blanket, We used to hotbox under a king-size blanket. And my mom would get so mad after we'd lift that blanket up because it would just reek the house up. Yeah. Every night, it'd be like, Steven, but we, what did I tell you? Yeah, we'd be under, under the house. We'd be under there just giggling to ourselves, just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Dude, it's so good yeah, up. but every night, Stephen, what I tell you about smoking in the house, Mom, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> like, but like, she only got pissed about blunts. Anyway, it's super high. I fell asleep. She only got pissed about blunts. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> fell asleep and I had my earbuds in and I was listening to fucking Unhallowed, but I had it set up on shuffle and like I wake up and that fucking intro track is Steve playing. Was just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's the danger of falling asleep to the relaxing sounds of mud vein. <laughs> you just fucking you drift off to sleep, and then it's just like. 
<laughs> you kind of sounded like one of the <laughs> twisted metal characters dying right there. Uh, oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> like one of those fucking classic Ah Real Monsters screams. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, she used to get so, were you there that when we hotboxed my dad's car? Uh, probably. And my mom came out in the yard just screaming at everyone. You're talking about the old town car, right? Yeah, the Lincoln. Yeah, I think the so. The huge, gigantic Lincoln, dude. Oh, uh, those cars are the best. My dad would be like, just go smoke in my car. Like, your mom's going to get mad if you smoke in the house. Go smoke in my car. So we're sitting there in broad daylight. There's an apartment complex behind my house. My mom's like, everyone's going to be able to see you. She's snapping, dude. Like, Dude, she came out just screaming. I was scared. I was also really high. But uh, yeah, I remember we used to smoke in between the garages at Jason. That one time the cops pulled up. Oh yeah, remember that? And they were just like, "Is everything okay? <laughs> it's your family life, Steve?" And you're like, "I love my family. Stop asking me that question." Because <laughs> you like lived in West Dallas. You're like, "Why are you all the way out here from West Dallas? You have problems at home?" And Milwaukee. Was, yeah, it, but yeah, Milwaukee. <laughs> and it was just like, it's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I'm. Like, we didn't get charged with anything. I'm hanging out with my friends. Yeah. I love my family. <laughs> it was just the most bizarre line of questioning. Uh, shit. I forgot we didn't even, Yeah, we didn't even get charged with anything. No, I totally I think we pawned them off on some kids in the park across the street. Because the kids across the street were fucking smoking, too. Because uh, I think the most... People always used to smoke at that skate park over there in Germantown. That skate park over there, there you know, the weed haven. Excuse me. Sorry. Weed ramps. That was a long time ago. Um, I think the most trouble I almost ever got in, almost, was when my jacket smelled like weed. And there was a, a lockdown. What a bunch of bullshit that shit is. And fucking... Random drug search with yeah, the canine. Yeah. Like, I'm about to fucking leave for the day, and they call me down, and they're like, you know why you're in here, Douglas? And I was like, no. <laughs> and <laughs> Officer fucking Miller, Miller. Yeah. Fucking, he's like, let me, let me see your jacket. He fucking takes it, and he, it's like um, a fetishist sniffing panties. He's like, does <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so he turn all the pockets inside like, out? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> they didn't find shit on me But apparently my jacket smelled like weed But I didn't, wasn't dumb enough to fucking incriminate myself Aren't those high school cops the worst, dude? I mean, yeah <laughs> All the cops in Germantown were pretty annoying Ours was named uh, Kubasa, And we'd always call him Kubasa. <laughs> and just fuck with him <laughs> I mean, is that the dream to fucking be stationed in some? Is it like the NFL draft where you have to go play? <laughs> like you just get it's drafted the, it's by the, the police AHL or it's something? Like, dude, how did how did you fuck up? You get sent down to the minors. <laughs> what did you do to become a high school? Like, hey. you obviously didn't beat anyone because you'd probably be beating kids. Like, <laughs> I wish they would have fucking pulled a Murphy on Miller and just been like, "Hey, you're gonna go to Detroit." <laughs> And fucking Red Foreman's gonna sh shoot you, and you're gonna become a robot. <laughs> Do you imagine fucking Officer Miller as a fucking RoboCop? It'd be awful. Red Foreman's gonna <laughs> shove his RoboCop in I feel as like a school cop. <laughs> I feel like he's the guy who'd spend his days like. I feel like the the like school cop would be the guy spending his time like planting evidence on people, and that's what he got busted for. Yeah, he'd just fucking be like. Kids, halt. <laughs> halt. Grab him by the fucking neck and lift him up. And he's like, just like a trap door opens up and it falls on the ground. He's like, what's this? <laughs> I detect methamphetamine. <laughs> it's like I'm a kid in high what school, man. <laughs> what is this, nuke? <clears throat> that was the drug in uh, RoboCop 2, right? Nuke? Is the narcotic know. everybody was uh, addicted to? I don't know. I don't know. I just watched... Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man, and they smoke I was Sweet just, Dream or some shit. I was just talking about that shit at work the other day because somebody brought up the Marlboro Man, and they're like talking about the whole cancer fiasco. And I was like, I the thing I think about is this movie my buddy loves, that Steve O fucking loves. I love that fucking movie. <laughs> it's so bad, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> it's so shit. And they're I wearing remember. that Japanese Kevlar. It's in per <laughs> impenetrable by bullets. <laughs> you have to shoot them in the head. That one guy gets shot in the head like four times. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> Morpheus brother Baldwin is yeah. fucking in that shit, just like marching after them with his like goon squad and yeah, with their like uh, their bullpup Ogs, and they only hip <laughs> fire them. Yeah, dude, didn't I turn that movie on like a 
after a night of just craziness? Yeah. You've done it twice. You did it once here, and you probably you did it once at my house. And, and it just asleep. happened to come on that night where we went uh, e-skating during the heat wave, and we were just like, we have to we yeah. have to just go back home. <laughs> and we just like sat at Stefan's till like one in the morning, just be like. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> but that shit came on afterwards. I was like, oh, Steve loves this loves movie. This movie. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> it's great bad, though. It's, 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 it's great bad. Speaking of bad movies, I watched a movie called Chopping Mall. It was like an eight. <laughs> Chopping? Chopping? Chopping Mall. Mall. And it does not involve a slasher murder. It involves security robots that go around at night killing some kids that got locked in the mall. Sounds great. I hate it. <laughs> this chick's head explodes, though. Will I dream? <laughs> Will I dream of electric sheep? <laughs> it's terrible. It's all so terrible. Oh, did you hear that Rutger Hauer died? Yeah, I got a text about that. What a bummer, dude. Yeah, I got... Because he died the day after uh, In Control died from starcraft oh yeah i can't believe he fucking died too 33. 33 i guess he had that is insane i guess he had some sort of uh, uh clot in his lung yeah it was like pulmonary like, embolism it was, yeah it was like a v- very sudden onset of yeah. illness like he it, that's what he got sick it and your went like that yeah a pulmonary embolism. which was it was kind of crazy because i always thought you know he's a pretty young guy but Anything can happen, so. Right? Because he was big in StarCraft and Warhammer, so. Oh, speaking of Warhammer, I've been really wanting to get into that. Uh, okay. Yeah. You should come over sometime and we can... You Find know. a ride. <laughs> I'll catch a bus, I can, I can pick you up. I'll catch a bus. I have nothing going on. I can pick you up. I should uh, dust off. Actually, I should bring the 3D printer home from work and print some minis. By the way, that terrain you printed that all that time ago i just airbrushed it primed it and base coated it seems to be sticking fine so does the primer fill in the layer lines no but i'm not really too concerned about about it you can i think you can get like thicker primer or you can do some sort of like resin based epoxy that'll like do like a clear coat over it and it'll fill in the layers i still have a lot of painting to do i'm not really super worried about terrain retaining perfect detail but i'm just saying if you want to yeah to make it, it if nice. you it's just spruce it up but I'm looking, it's, it's nice. working so far yeah Stefan, if you want it looking nice i thought these things are supposed to look nice you're supposed to win trophies you're supposed to win medals when you fucking paint these things win fucking what the fuck is the point if you're not going to win something Stefan? <laughs> don't you want to be a champion <laughs> if you're not first you're like win win <laughs> win you gotta get a you gotta get a <sighs> mighty ducks uh <laughs> Emilio Estevez? No, the uh, the Hawks. Oh yeah, soundbite yeah. where their coach is just like, "If you ain't winning, it's not worth it." You know, I watched the Mighty Ducks movies not too long ago, and I was like, "What's the what's the hype behind this?" Was like Emilio Estevez. I loved those movies. I thought he. I I hope he got paid. Hope he got paid good. I mean, they made a second one. They made a, they third, made a one. third one. Yeah, but was he in the third one? Yep. Yeah. Oh. They go to Worlds, right? The set, the third one they go to Worlds and they play yeah. like Team Iceland and, and he shit. shows up at the end yeah and the fucking Russian boxer from Rocky Five shows up and gut punches He's, some little isn't kid he their, in the their guts. coach uh, in three in, I don't I don't know oh, wait that really much about three <laughs> the Russian boxer from Rocky <laughs> I don't know much I was about just three fucking around dude I, I, don't I, know I believe shit he about is three. what's his name mm. uh unbelievable. <laughs> I think he's their 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 coach I don't, number I three. I don't know. I haven't watched. Look three. up the cast, man. I'm working on it. Uh, last week I watched the both Judge Dredd movies. David Selby, I think. While we're talking about uh, meat slab people, <laughs> meat slab people. That's not him. That's oh a- yeah, fucking Once Upon a Time in Hollywood comes out this weekend. Mighty Ducks 3, Dolph Russian. Russian the men. Russian coach. You crush your weak American bones into weak American dust. Minnesota North? No. Sometimes you just got to get the facts for the, for the listeners. 
I mean, there's only like three coaches in the movie. It's definitely not Dolph Lundgren. That much we can. I say thought it was Dolph certainty. Lundgren. I don't. I don't. I haven't watched two or three really with any great remembrance. Yeah, well, I only watched one recently. And yeah. I just two remember, and three. I watched two. Was great. I just remember he hugs everybody at the end. And he's like, "Whoa, well, I'm gonna go give him my shot in the pros." And then the fucking full house theme starts playing. Everywhere you look, everywhere you, there's a heart. And then oh, the first thing that happens in Mighty you. Ducks too is he gets a concussion in his first game and he can't play anymore. Shit. <laughs> he gets fucking KO'd. But then dude comes in with the knuckle puck. Oh yeah. <laughs> Watch out, boys. Fuller or whatever. It's knuckle puck time. Isn't that Keenan Thompson? Fuller? Isn't that the kid who has to piss all the time in Home Alone? <laughs> I don't know. I Keenan don't Thompson? I don't Keenan know. I'm not a Mighty Ducks aficionado. I am. <laughs> no, Hi, this is Kevin McAllister, the father. Oh, that's <laughs> Peter McAllister. <laughs> Christ. I remember fucking... Um, uh, Ryan Tifus wanted to start a grindcore band called Peter McAllister. <laughs> Did it take off? No. <laughs> it was just like one of those things like, where you Can just we have do this? Yeah. You know, the concept, and it's like you got the name. Because that's, like a, that's a good grindcore band name, Peter McAllister. No? Crickets? Oh. <laughs> I, don't I, guess, I guess I don't that's why it didn't take here. off. <laughs> Stephanie, you're typing in all caps. All caps when you spell the man's name. David Draymond Twitter rant. Like, the dude from Disturb used to be known for going on these long rants about stuff, and he would, like, type in all caps like a elderly Like a person. psycho, huh? Like My older sister person. used to type in all caps. Like, just as in casual conversation, if she was messaging you anyway. Any, like, she would purposely hit caps lock. She would go out of her way to do that. You do that a lot in like tracking in like ERP software, because you don't, you know, you don't want to fucking do punctuation. You're just trying to like get your shit entered. <clears throat> well, she was just—it was always caps, everything. And you. Hey, always, how are you doing? And you always <laughs> respond all caps when you spell the man, spell, spell the, the damn name. name. Yeah. Hey, that's my alias though. All caps. All caps D I L F, man. True that. But yours is like a. Abbreviation, an acronym. Yeah, I was gonna as say, yeah. you would. Thank you. We're talking about nicknames. Like somebody asked somebody at work, she's like, "Polo, is that like a nickname? Is that like a common nickname?" And it's like, "Yes." <laughs> and I'm like, "You guys don't want to know my nickname." <laughs> <laughs> Dill. Oh, shit. It's cool when I get introduced to Zach, because a lot of people just think it's Zach. <laughs> it's like Zach. No, Zach. It's, it's never called Zach. Zach. And then you don't Zach. respond to that. It's Zach. Zucked off. <laughs> <laughs> but then people sit there and they say Zach, and you don't respond. Zach. Right? right. Yeah. And they're like, "Why is it Zach?" It's like, "Well, let me tell you." What, what's the actual surname mean? Fucking Barley Sax or something? Oh like yeah, it was um, yeah. it was originally Sackmeister. And it's like a German, but it got Americanized. And um, we used to keep count of all the hops, like sacks of hops and oh. grains and barley and all that in the breweries. I just, uh, that just peaked uh, a memory. I tried something last week that was like the fucking weirdest beverage I've ever had. It's like the fucking um, LaCroix of beer. It's called Hops Water. Why not just get a fucking White Claw? <laughs> hops water. Because that's like a seltzer, oh. and that's got booze in it. But hops water is like a non-alcoholic hops-flavored beverage. It tastes like soap water. Actually, it didn't taste like that. It was, like, crisp and refreshing. And I was like, I put it on the fucking conveyor belt at Whole Foods, because where else would you get that shit? And the chick behind me is like, have you tried that? And I was like, no, I just saw it and tried to say, I heard that it was like relaxes you or whatever. And I was like, oh, I yeah. heard it's so good. <laughs> but uh, one of the dudes that I used to work with in the shipping department, he, he used to work at the brewery and he attested to people like falling asleep <laughs> in like the hop storeroom. <laughs> well, they, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but they say hops is related to marijuana. Yeah, it is. I mean, it makes sense. 
It so is. people falling it's asleep in there. Stinky. It's a stinky. I just was checking out our stream. We look grimy as fuck. <laughs> Hold on. Let's, let's see it. We look so grimy. Oh, because of all the shit that's falling <laughs> off of the walls and shit. <laughs> we look grimy as fuck. Well, yeah, I'm here. It's, What's happening? There we go. It's going to be like that. It's, I should turn the camera, put it behind us, so it could be like that scene in Spaceballs. We look balls. fucking grimy as fuck, dude. It's a theme, dude. <laughs> Just a couple of sleaze balls. <laughs> Everybody points points at us. Uh, ew, yuck. Oh, grimy. Now they're now they're like ourselves are. Ugh. <laughs> My teeth look gold. <laughs> they're not. They're not gold. <laughs> uh, wow, man. Cool. I I haven't been on Twitch because. I haven't used my computer in six months there. Not that many people on Twitch anymore. I mean, it's a shit medium. Yeah. There's no, there's nothing for you to like grow an audience on it. It's only for people who already have an audience and want to bring them there. It's like a super, there's no give back. It doesn't give back to anything else. So why would it continue to be successful? Yeah. It's just crazy. These numbers are so much lower than they used to be. <clears throat> So I'm saying we should just fucking cut the bullshit, get off Twitch with this shit, just stream straight to YouTube, and then I don't even have to fucking upload it afterwards. Yeah, it's game. like the one thing we can do to make publishing these quicker. Yeah, sure. No one watches this. Quicker! Movie. Quicker! Quicker! Not in my asshole! On my asshole! Literally no one watches this on here. You know? <laughs> it's just Bronson. crazy. These numbers are a tenth of what they used to be. Maybe it's just a bad night, but... Friday, dude. How could it be a bad night? Now I can't believe people are still playing Grand Theft Auto Five. That game has they some keep coming of the great out with DLC, online. Man. That game has great online, apparently. They keep coming out with. But the it DLC. it has great online in the sense of you. It's like almost mobile games amount of money that you spend on yeah. it constantly. Mm. But at least you get to play a full fledged game instead of some. Hi, would you like to play four dollars and ninety five cents to turn? Ads off for a week. I am surprised World of Warcraft is as high as it is right now. They just oh, did a new patch. Oh, they wide. did? Oh, yeah. okay. Patch is uh, brand yeah. spanking new, so. Yeah. They got Mechagon. They got... Uh, Nazjatar. Nazjatar. I'm still working on getting my... Yeah, some bitch parts to fucking see like Moses, man. It's fucking wild, dude. If you were the children of Israel, you wouldn't have survived that one. <laughs> <laughs> It's all the same shitty games. It's always been. It's, it's fun, dude. dude I, I to be. I'm not, I'm not talking about WoW. I'm talking about oh. the games that are on Twitch. It's the same shitty. I was games. gonna say it's like uh, the PvP feels a lot better for some reason to me. Maybe your class one up. You check your class standings or whatever. You Maybe a you got still? a boost. Yeah, I'm a hunter. Yeah, hunted, hunted, flagged. Some dude was trying to um get me to change my talent spec to having two pets. That's a garbage. But it's like, dude, no, I have the one where it's like my kill command. Yeah, you makes want my pet deal fifty percent more damage. Yeah, I don't than it know if uh, like... I don't know if it's the same, but when I was using it, the kill command is way better. Yeah, two pets is hot garbage. Hot but it's probably it's probably changed. Maybe if there's no. one thing that uh, like I find myself every time I get into it and then get out of it and go back in, there's like a new thing that like finally clicks in my head. I think from playing with Stefan was. Uh, Got to get your kicks. Got to yeah, get your I've, kicks. I've in. been huge on kicks. Interrupts, you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Um, That's how you win team fights. No, I mean like the stuff that gets me off and I'm... <laughs> I don't know. You were really pushing having fun earlier. <laughs> um, no, but like, uh, yeah, that and like my stuns, man. Fun. Yeah. That's how you win a fight. And I've, been, I've just been grief and fucking like when I'm in a battle battleground now, like tar traps. Oh, you got to get battleground enemies if you don't have it. Um, That's gonna open I, I do. I your shit that. up. Oh yeah, we were talking about it. Yeah, but I have healers that have to die as well. I love that hearing the bell ring when I target a healer. Do you have? Ding. Do you have the quintessential death, death rattle? Death rattle. I have death <laughs> rattle for sure. Always got to have death rattle. Always. It, it makes your your dying that much more humorous, mm -hmm. more lighthearted. Son of a. Fuck, I died. <laughs> I can't fucking be mad. Nope, can't be mad. My game just made a fart noise for me. I can't stay me. mad at you. 
That's how it is with WoW. It's like I can't stay away from you. <laughs> My mind's telling me no. <laughs> Every time a new patch comes out, dude. I was just trying to think of what to kick back in my I think, recliner I think in my as room. A, as a paladin, I only had one interrupt, and that was Hammer of Justice, and that had a long ass cooldown. You have to have more. Yeah, either they, through, they physically have like a, a punch, I think. Either through um, like that. either through war mode, or just your like build in general, you have to have more than one. I think you could talent into one, but you don't really take it because it gets you out of a good heal i don't remember very well i remember rogue though okay low little cool kick cooldown you know what i'm so fucking fun. actually a little pissed about spent all that fucking time to get the water strider and they, now it can't stride on water they fucking what? made it something that you can apply to anything now yeah it's like your mount like a blacksmithing yeah no you, your mount gets your a, mount has an ability thing that a you can, talent slot yeah <laughs> and you can go and buy these talents for your mount <laughs> But they did give everybody who already had a water strider water walking for yeah. their amount. Uh, I didn't have so a water that's not strider, so bad. But that shit took fucking forever. took like a month of just doing dailies. I was gonna say that was a lot of grinding for you, huh? I, I didn't get one. It's I not. The, uh, it's not so much. It's a lot. It's just like you can't do it all at once. Right. So you have to like go on. Every day for like maybe fifteen minutes. I did the, uh, which is okay. That's like one of the things they do to like get people coming back. But I did the the Easter egg mount, the one that got you like the underwater squid. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I did that one too. Yeah, that the one was fun. Fathom Dweller. Yeah, that one was um, fun. I think I I tipped you off about that one. So I it was. was just, on, I saw something on Reddit. Okay. Did you do it then, with yeah. me? I think we were doing it together. So I was just talking to someone about like um you know the all the Pathfinder shit. Mm -hmm. with the new expansion and all that and it's like well well that sucks because it seems like there's so much but it's like all right well like look like blizzard developed and like created all of this fucking content wait are they talking about pathfinder 2 coming out no pathfinder 2 is already out yeah i know but like, but, like they're, they're bitching about, about it the, someone was bitching about pathfinder 1 and 2 for battle for azeroth yeah um, which are hard. exactly the same as they've right. been for the last right. three. It wasn't even that hard. I but think he was, was sitting there bitching, and, and I was talking to him. I'm like, look, man, they built all of this content for you to look at. So, like, that's kind of, like, the incentive for them. Like, y they make you go through all of their shit. Like, yeah. you walk <laughs> through all of it and experience all the shit that they built. I mean, realistically, yeah. I like, think there was only one thing... Or two things out of that that you had to grind out. I think that was. This is just so funny thing. watching Stefan talk about World of Warcraft in this fucking shirt. <laughs> you want to trade shirts, dude? You want to trade? Unbutton it some more. <laughs> yeah, just let your fucking belly button hang out, man. I, yeah, as, as long as your belly button here. look doesn't look like a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, dude, fucking just go full John Lovitz mode. It's just I I really like slouch in this dude. chair. Yeah. What uh. I I have people bitching. I was like playing with somebody last week, and they're like, "Oh, I'm just gonna like focus on like getting flying unlocked." And I was like, "You can't do that. It's gonna take you like months of just like doing these that's things." That's why you do the emissary time quest when they're there. Yeah, um, and that's what I was like trying to tell them. But that's one of the reasons when I was playing my last round, I already did Pathfinder one. I haven't gotten all of Pathfinder one. That sucks, bro. Uh, the only, only <laughs> thing I gotta do with you the, uh... too is the flight pass in Battle for Azeroth were pretty fucking good. I think the only place they were bad was the what's the Horde Island on there? Oh yeah, that place sucks. Zandalar. But I think it sucks. Zandalar the desert had really bad flight Bull pass. Dune. It probably yeah. sucks for Alliance intentionally. Well, I gotta... I'm one. I haven't played uh, Horde in uh, Kul Tiras. Or tier grade sound, whatever. Yeah, tier grade. Yeah. I would, I would think it probably sucks for them too because yeah. it's, it's not their territory. It's why it's controlled. Technically. But yeah, the, all the fucking the voodoo jungle shit, man. Like you're walking through all of that. Yeah. Even with only, the hidden, even with the hidden flight pass, there weren't like enough. Only thing I have to do for uh, Pathfinder one still is the rep. Yeah, all I, all that's that's what you that's, have to grind. That's, that's the main daily, thing. Though. Yeah, that's the daily. All I have to, to do is literally all of it. Is what you just said. <laughs> just the rep. Um, but I was like, that's what fucking takes forever, man. That's the man. dailies, right? Like, you are you. gonna be fucking unlock trying to do the turtle ones forever, dude. I'm already revered with the turtles. Oh, really? Yeah. Lucky the turtles. You. you just do very specific ones. Yeah. And I'm already really revered quick. with the turtles and the seventh legion. 
the so seventh like, legion is like the easiest. Yeah, seventh. So now legion you can get yourself a, a, a dark iron dwarf, I think. Uh, they have no, a they're, bunch of requirements. Um, I got a fucking. Piss they have a bunch of requirements. They're pretty cool though. They're a really good PvP race. Why? They had some. I think their racial was they absorb one one step at a time, Stevo. They absorb. Don't, a, don't pass out now. I think they're uh, almost showing some crack there. Their PvP racial, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, or their racial like absorbs something and reverts it to damage output or something. I don't remember very well. They have like a inverse of stone skin. Soft skin. Smooth skin. I could look it up real quick. Nah, don't. No one's gonna care. That's listening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whoever's listening, they're not out there. Echo, echo, echo. What time is it? Five oh eight. Wow, it feels later, because like this. Room Usually is we start later. You yeah, know? it's like completely isolated from all of the rest of the world. What time's your game at? Nine. Nine. Yeah. Usually yeah, it's eight. at eight thirty. He moved it back. Mm. Oh man, Hamburger Douglas is hungry. Are you looking that up? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm getting texts about uh, people trying to move Halloween to the last Saturday of the month. Wait, what? Uh, so there's a push to move Halloween night to the last Saturday of the month instead of the 31st. I mean, it makes oh, sense logistically yeah, so for it's kids. Funner, yeah. More fun. I mean, fuck them. Let them stay up for a night. Cause them, is it is it try to cut is it trying to cut down on the murders? I don't know. I, to me, it's just to make planning easier so kids can have fun on that Saturday. They don't have and parents don't have that, as much to worry about about kids staying out on like a. I don't know what day does it usually fall on like a it's Thursday. I mean, I'm pretty sure it just like progressively it moves walks around through the week. Yeah, it moves around. Just have it every Saturday at the end of the end of the month of October. And we're gonna staple this in like fucking Thanksgiving. But would it really be the true anniversary of what e ever evil shit it's supposed to celebrate? Isn't that just like a fucking harvest thing? Yeah. Wait, what's a harvest? Halloween. We're talking oh, about yeah. Halloween. Because they, I got a text. About my buddy where people were complaining that they want to move Halloween to the last Saturday. Halloween purists. There's a war on Halloween. <laughs> but it's just like, you really want to complain about that? Just like, imagine. the kids want to go out and trick or treat, have it on Saturday night. They don't have to worry about school or whatever else the next day. And Where is goth Toby Keith and goth Bill O'Reilly talking about the war on Halloween? Goth Brooks. <laughs> goth Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Zang! That's a good one. <laughs> oh. Uh, I always wanted to do like a parody band called Girth Brooks. Girth Brooks? Is it just songs about being extra large? <laughs> Dude, there's this whole thing about Garth Brooks being like a fucking creepo, like secret serial killer. Doug's always got the inside scoops. It's uh, from your mom's house podcast, the one with uh, Tom I'm... Segura. <laughs> You're like, what? Let's see if you oh, know it's... Tom's. You know Tom know Segura. Tom is, yeah. He does a podcast with his wife, and one of their favorite things to shit on is Garth Brooks, and awesome. they have a theory about him being like a secret killer because of like some creepy like Facebook videos that he would put out. There was some shit that happened where he was like doing some stuff uh, about. Um, it's like, you know, these talks, he's just talking to the camera on like a Facebook live. And he was like, these are just going to be little personal talks between you and me. I like that. <laughs> okay. Hello, neighbor. Let's see and what then, like, somebody like walked into the room and he was just like, wait, what is this supposed to happen? You could like see the murder in his fucking face, like wash over him for a second. And then he got himself back under control, like a uh, public speaker. Garth oh, Brooks. Is this the video? Yeah. Oh, God. Garth Brooks has joined. Let's Facebook. not because that's like another famous podcasts thing. We're jumping down the uh Yeah. Let's not go into Garth, Garth Brooks. Dude, we're just trying to hitch on with the carabiner and ride the wave. Come on. <laughs> the Girth Brooks rabbit hole. <laughs> Girth Brooks. <laughs> New What's DXL Garth Brooks even look like, really? He looks girthy. 
I mean, this this he is just like varies drastically. In oh, each have you image. seen the fucking Chris Gaines? The look at the emo one. This that's, one, yeah, that's actually Garth Brooks, who he had a fucking alter ego that he did music under. Garth no Brooks, way. yeah, Garth it's Garth Brooks. Brooks. Chris Gaines. <laughs> Chris Gaines? Yeah, and the episode of Saturday Night Live that Garth Brooks hosted. He looks Chris like he's Gaines trying to mind guest. freak someone, right? <laughs> yeah, for real. He looks like Chris Angel's cousin. This is about to be Chris fucking... Gangel. Uh, well, you know, Gaines. What was your fucking David Copperfield So thing? what, did he like just put on a wig or what? Something like that. Wow, I hate this. But for real, what was your... <laughs> What was your fucking David Copperfield joke where it was like fucking getting buried alive in like mice or something like that? Chewing, I don't know. It was like an old fucking thing that you said about David Copperfield, like some sort of mu- musician. Like it was like obviously a pre-baked line that you had just stored away for. Oh, this is when I get to pull this one. <laughs> I must have really been prepping for that one. I can't remember that. Chris Gaines revealed as Garth Brooks. <laughs> what? Chris Gaines. Wait, is it really Garth Brooks? Yeah, that's dude. That's him on Saturday Night Live. Uh, that pic- this last one picture. right here. Yeah, yeah this I... is him on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> so what? He just puts Ow. on a wig or what? Uh, um, yeah. What? Something like that. Chris Gaines was a one-off rock persona created as an alter ego for Garth Brooks to explore rock and roll styles far Are removed from a successful country countries? singer. This is just weirdly disturbing to me. You never knew about this? Okay, no, we are I going don't. Down the I don't even Brooks know who the hole. fuck Chris Gaines is. What's the music it's he just, does? It's it, just weird that like what do you? It's like uh, probably some like sort of Nine Inch Nails. Don't you dare play. Don't play any. Of don't it, you please. dare fucking get us copyright strike for playing out of this Chris window. Gaines. I will jump out of this. Window. Garth Gaines. <laughs> Garth Gaines. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but like <laughs> Chris, Chris, like if it's a one-off rock Chris and roll Brooks. persona. It's just funny that that's what he thought like rock and roll looked like. Oh, well, it was the times, man. It's like he was pre-emo. It's edgy, fucking uh, like some Nine Inch Nails shit. Listen to a lot of audio. Do you slaves. think he? Do you think he? <laughs> no, this put, is before that, dude. Do you think he puts this on a, before? This is like the '90s, dude. Do you think he'd like no put shit. on a wig and like just I don't know, like he, he put on the wig and he's like, yeah, I like that. He did a weird breathing technique before. Yeah, he went on like. <laughs> No, 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 no. He was like, he was looking at a fucking uh, picture of Dave Navarro. He was like, Dave, Dave, make the kissy face. Make the kissy face, Dave. No. No, I'm not going to make the kissy face. I was just going to, he just puts it on. He's Norman. I think that's, he just, <laughs> he just sits in a mirror. Just, <laughs> I'm a totally different Just doing noir. blue steel. Yeah, I'm just so different. <laughs> you are Chris Gaines. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <laughs> what are you fucking? Ooh, ah. <laughs> Al Pacino. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I am Chris Gaines. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, this just sums what? it up for me. Whoa, whoa. Somebody fucking painted some that. Fan art, <laughs> That's some yeah. fan art. <laughs> Um, this fan is gonna kill Garth Brooks or Chris Gaines. <laughs> Just all of this. What's he is... looking through there? His mind's eye, or you know, he's mind Chris freak. Angel. Mind freak. Ugh. Chris Gaines is Chris Angel. <laughs> I just made a dollar appear on the back of your window. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> thanks, I hate, thanks, I hate it. Yeah, Chris Gaines. He's gonna fucking. Can you imagine if, on the if he put Halloween. on the wig today, like looking like this? <laughs> oh shit! Or just like put the wig on. Did he there. like sell albums as that dude and shit? Well, at Gaines. least one. He has one album really. I think it really was just a ploy to make more money. I mean, because they were talking about his net worth skyrocketing after. It was definitely testing the waters, and if it had taken off, he'd be like, "Hey, y'all, I'm Garth wig. Brooks." Yeah, this would have the wig on top of it if this had taken <laughs> off. <laughs> like the clown from Spawn. He looks like the clown from Spawn, dude. And humping and porking. <laughs> and laying it. Oh, I wish I God. had like mad Photoshop skills so I could just put the wig right on there. It's like morphed into the fat old Elvis version of himself. <laughs> Look at all that. Go up. Go no, up. this one. 
<laughs> oh God! Look into the gaze of, of Chris Garth. <laughs> Garth Look Gaze. into the healing gaze of Garth Brooks. <laughs> you talk about my eyes being dead, dude. <laughs> I swear to God, he is on the level of Jesus Christ for a subset of people. Oh, like, probably. he is that huge. Not probably. Like, he, I think, is one of the biggest. <laughs> so it's like, I guarantee it. You know, like, without it being, like, zoomed out. As a cowboy hat and shit. Just zoom like into those Quaker. eyes a little bit more. He looks like a Quaker. Just catch him <laughs> on the top of that oatmeal box. <laughs> Just zoom into his eyes so you can't see his mouth. And then tell me, tell me what this says. The stand. Does that say that you're smiling? This says the bad guy in the stand. <laughs> Save says, me. Help me. <laughs> Please help me. I'm in pain. Get me out of this country music <laughs> fuck hole. <laughs> I'm in pain and my suffering. Oh yes, he's like he's like trapped inside of the body of his country music I star. I want to be Chris Gaines. <laughs> I am Chris Gaines. Oh, Nobody wants God. to be. Look at there's pain in those eyes, dude. <laughs> I wish the alter ego had worked out. Oh my God, get the fucking gaze, the healing gaze of Garth Brooks out of my face. I'm he feeling like uncomfortable. A Quaker. <laughs> Just is imagine. That a, if... Is that a MAGA hat? Why? Well, I don't like that Google got rid of just go to the <laughs> image. Well, if it is, they blocked go. out the lettering. God damn it. PD. Go die, Google. You fucked yeah. up your image search. Yeah, fuck you. Garth, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> I'm glad I came I'm out. I'm glad I could yuck it up with you about Garth Brooks. <laughs> Make I, uh, you cry. I, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> I didn't Brooks. think we were going to hit that note today. What, Garth Brooks? Yeah. Dude, Garth Brooks, this is a fucking trip, man. That guy has some fucking bodies somewhere. In I that, can see it. In Especially that, s- that last picture. In that second freezer. Yeah, he probably dresses right up as Chris Gaines Right below the fucking Gaines six-year-old lasagna. He probably dresses up as Chris Gaines and kills him. <laughs> Who was it? Well, he looks yeah, like yeah, he dresses up like Chris Gaines. He's in his basement. He's in front of me. He's like, goodbye, horses. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fuck a me? dog in the basket? I bench. fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to meet a country star? You don't get to. Just like, guess what? <laughs> Garth Brooks said he's coming here tonight. <laughs> Everyone like, what? For real? <laughs> He dresses up as Chris Greens, abducts a woman from a gas station a- in his fucking van, brings her back to his house. Lo and behold, he has been researching this person. She is a giant Garth Brooks fan, <laughs> and he now gets to manifest himself becoming Garth Brooks and saving her from the evil clutches. Do you think <laughs> Do you think if both egos had taken off equally, he would have done like a back-to-back headlining tour like Garth Brooks and Chris Gaines? He jumps He jumps in the back for like two minutes to change. Puts the wig on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's just like, he fucking puts it on and it just like snaps into place like a magnet. <laughs> he's a fucking cyborg. <laughs> I'm good to go. It's like a clip on drops his soul country patch. accent and everything. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chris Gaines. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm Garth, Garth Brooks. Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> they do a hologram back to back singing together. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. I'm gonna do a duet with Chris Gaines, who is not me. <laughs> <laughs> Buy his album after the show, please. <laughs> Man, this Chris Gaines feller, I really like him, man. You know, he might be from a rock and roll background. (laughs) But I think we should all get along with uh, Chris Gaines. Fuck all those other guys, though. (laughs) He's got a message I do support. Yeah. Now, uh, while we're we're shitting on country music, how about that fucking Alabama 40 while we're weak video? You know what's funny is I was watching that at at Brett and Steven's house, and they were both like, we've already seen this. And I was like, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. There's like... It's a really bad music video. It involves getting bla- back to blue collar roots and it's in the blue 80s. collar workers line dancing. Yeah, at like a Detroit. Car I wouldn't factory say. I wouldn't say Pittsburgh line. Steel mill. There's this fucking. There are choreographed moves and they're it's, dancing. It's not line dancing. It's literal ballet. Fucking. There's this line in the song where they're talking about just like you know, 
Hello, D. Troy and the fucking line workers on the car line. Three of them like peer away and fucking spin around, and I'm just like, buddy, you got the wrong demographic. If you want to watch the music video yourself? It's 40 Hour Week by Alabama. Oh, it's so bad. Should we check it out? No, let's let's fucking rip on it afterwards. Let's fucking take Dude, a pass on that. Dude, we're at like that. two and a half hours. Uh, one thirty. One thirty. Oh, yeah. One thirty nine. I mean, yeah, we should check it out. Yeah, this is a good place to end it. End it on a high note. Oof, shitting on Garth Brooks, shitting on Go Alabama. check out 40 Hour a Week for a living yeah, actually, by Alabama. Actually, go check out 40 Hour a Week on a living like two months from now when we put out when the video of us shitting. <laughs> when we put the riff on it. Yeah. All right. Good night. Good night, Milwaukee.